Now, all of us who know the truth, down in the heart of the earth, Some won't be able to see the board. Abraham's bosom and hell. There was a great gulf fixed. And this is in accordance with Luke chapter 16. All the departed spirits, the people who lived in Adam's day, Noah's day, Abraham's day, Moses' day, who would have attained unto the grace of God and the righteousness of God, had they lived and died, they would have gone into Abraham's bosom. All those of the same dispensation. Adam, Noah, and I've just used these names as characters, Moses day, who had lived and died in unbelief. Their souls would have gone to hell. I must ask you to consider then, how many people actually went to Abraham's bosom from Adam's day? Have you got chapter and verse to tell me? It seemed that Adam sinned. It seems as that from Adam there came forth a man by the name of Abel, who was counted righteousness because of faith. Enoch was caught up, translated, so that if we are to conclude what the Bible has to say, the only person from Adam's day who would have been in Abraham's bosom that we're absolutely sure about would have been Abel. How many people from Noah's day? <laughs> it seems that God destroyed every living creature from off the face of the earth. So how many people would have been saved? The only man that I can talk about is Noah. Because he obtained the righteousness which was of faith. We can't deny his wife as a possibility, but it doesn't say so. But we can only be sure of Noah. There was Ham, Shem, and Japheth, the three sons of Noah. You want to see what they did? We want to know how they sinned, but from Shem there came forth eventually in a long line, Abraham. But we have no possibilities or conclusions of being able to state that there was anyone else that was saved from Noah's day. How many people from Abraham's day? Well, according to the Bible, they were in number as the sands of the sea and the stars in the sky. There were many, many souls who went into Abraham's And from Moses' day, uh, those who lived by the law and could keep the law, they were saved. But through those in Moses' time, which will conclude under Abraham's time, and the covenant that God made with Abraham, there were many who had gone into Abraham's bosom. But when we come to hell, how many people went to hell in Adam's time? They all did. But can you understand that? If you had been living in that day, what would you say about that today? What would you say about it? Why should we be swept into hell? Do you know what hell is? It's separation from God forever and forever and forever. And what is the difference between the people of Adam's day who was made in the likeness and the image of God and you and me? What is the difference? I'll tell you what the difference is. We've found grace in the person of Jesus Christ. We've got the man. We're living in a time when the door's been opened and folks, we are not to take that lightly. We're not to turn aside from this. We're not to reject it. It's going to mean our eternal salvation or damnation if we reject it. Right or wrong? God help us. What about the people of Noah's day? They were all swept away. They were all swept away. That's a terrible thing. What about the people of Abraham's day? Well, they were there. But all those people were there. The people that didn't live and, and die in faith, the people of that time, they were all there. So there must have been many, many. I don't know. I can't give you another. There must have been many. Thousands upon thousands of souls who were in hell when Jesus, having just 
borne the sins of the whole world in his body on the cross, now goes down by the Spirit into Abraham's bosom. He didn't go there because he gave us the teaching. He went there. Paul gives us this understanding. He went into Abraham's bosom and he preached across the gulf. But the only people he preached to were the people of Noah's day. Why? You know why? Noah was the standard by which the world was to be judged. And if the people of Adam's day and the people of Abraham's day, we know the story, the people of Moses' day, couldn't live up to that which Noah had been able to do, then that was a way whereby the world was condemned. And all written in this context, I have to say to you today, with all my heart, you and I personally are going to have to reckon with Noah at the judgment seat of Christ. You'll say, for the sins we've committed, no, 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 not if Calvary covers it all, but for the things that we're doing in our body. The fact I want to say, the least I feel I can do today is to obey the word of God. Don't you? The least we can do is to do what Jesus asked us to do. The least we can do is decide this that we're going to go God's way. 